You're listening to Gigi Radio, the one and only Christian radio show for teen girls, with your hosts, Esther and Steph. Good morning, girls. Happy Monday. I'm here with the lovely Steph. Hello. <laughs> oh, what a greeting. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Hi, girls. It's Steph here. And it is the last Monday of the month. Yeah. It is. And then March. Yes. How fast. Oh, it is too fast. It was only oh. a few weeks, really, that we were celebrating New Year. I know. Even Christmas. I love Christmas. Oh, even Christmas. Yes. Oh, my word. Craziness. So, girls, we don't know how things are going for you at school. We hope they're going well. Um, if you feel like you're struggling with schoolwork or you feel you're struggling with your workload, talk to your teacher. Don't be afraid. Mm. Talk to someone who can help you, to a chaplain, to a counselor. I don't yeah, know. get help. But I think it's important for you to get help. So don't start the year feeling overwhelmed and feeling um, stressed. Yeah. And one thing I like to say, because I work at a school too, and I tell some of the kids I work with, I say, I actually cannot read your mind. Mm. So if you want help, I'm more than happy to give it, but yes. I don't know if you need help if you don't tell me. And yes. um, this is one of my little grade one girls, and she's like, oh. so she actually started putting her hand up. I said, oh, I love you for putting your yes. hand up because I didn't know you needed help. Like, we I don't. do like it. Yeah. I worked at school for 18 years until recently that I resigned to do this ministry full time. But I loved when my students asked yeah. me That's why questions you're there. Yeah. because I didn't want them to be struggling. Yeah. I don't like them struggling in no. silence. So no. girls, if you're struggling, please reach out to your teacher. Or someone else. Yeah, me. I'm a teacher, right? So you can reach out to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so another thing is we're not sure if you started doing your gratitude journal, but if you have, send us a photo of it, uh, send us a message, an email. Yes. Or the other ideas as well. So the sticky notes or yes. a piece of paper, or just a notebook, whatever you have, because it's so important to be grateful. Yes. And yeah, if you send that through here. Yeah. And if you want to get our, our gratitude journal, 30 Days to a Thankful Heart, you can. It is 30 days of just a beautiful, um, I think a time when you can reflect. Mm. So you can get that on our website at ggstorylibrary.com.au and it's in the printed book section. Yes, you'll love it. Go and have a sneak peek if you haven't already. Uh, artist of the week, I'm not saying it. I oh. mean, of the month. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> Artist of the month has been Dan Bremness. <laughs> I don't know why that is just in my mind. I can't. I His can't. name? Yeah, there are Must words. Must be something that confuses me. There you go. The M and the N. <laughs> together I was like what? <laughs> <laughs> but yes his music has been really good yeah I'm glad uh the next one is the verse of the month which has been first Thessalonians uh chapter 5 verse 18 the NIV says give thanks in all circumstances for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus the ERV says whatever happens always be thankful this is how God wants you to live in Christ Jesus so every now and then we get questions from from girls, mm-hmm. from you girls, um, and we absolutely love we it. We do, yeah. Uh, we keep your names confidential, of course, and um, we've asked this girl if we could read her question on the podcast. Um, so today here is the question she had. I'm on my school's volleyball team. We get ranked A, B and C. A is the best, C is the worst. I am on B and so is one of my other friends. But the thing is, she often gets subbed in for A. She keeps talking about it and I'm getting tired of trying to be happy for her. I love volleyball and I'm jealous. How do I work on not being jealous of her? Mm. That's a good question. Okay, so the answer was this. Jealousy is a powerful feeling and we need God's promises and his words to help us battle these thoughts and feelings. The first thing to do is pray and then reflect on these verses. The first verse is Proverbs 14.30, which is the ERV, and it says, Peace of mind makes the body healthy, but jealousy is like a cancer. Mm, Wow. So this means that at the end of everything, envy actually hurts you. It eats you up like a disease. So your friend is too excited about playing that she's talking about it constantly, and your jealousy is destroying your inner peace. This could eventually destroy your friendship. Mm. The second verse is 1 Corinthians 13, 4, and the ERV says, Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous. It does not brag and it is not proud. 
Pray for God to give you the love he can only give you so you really do feel proud of your friend and not let the enemy plant seeds of jealousy in your heart. Grab hold of God. And when your friend speaks about um, playing and you feel jealousy, repeat this verse in 1 Corinthians 13, 4 and say it over and over until those feelings leave. Fight jealousy with God's word. Mm. Another practical thing you can do is ask her to teach you a few tips and tricks if you're really keen on learning and improving your skills. But above all, the most important thing is to pray and focus on God and not your friend. Yes. We hope this also helps you girls. If you're feeling jealous or envious of a sibling or family member, then take notes. It's important to break this with God's help because it will make you bitter and hateful. Mm, And that's not good. So today's devotional is finally our first Bible boost of the year. (laughs) And it's from Roseanne. And it's a Bible um, kind of short meditation uh, so that you can learn something that's quick and easy to understand. So we hope you enjoyed as much as we have. So listen to Roseanne's um, devotional. Rosanne here from Bible Boost. This morning I woke up so tired and looked at the clock ticking on my wall. It was 7am and I wish I could have slept in longer. I had so many assignments still to finish and a headache from staying up late last night. I stumbled out of my room banging my toe on the door. My two budgies were screeching and I looked on the table to see my least favourite food for breakfast. I snapped at mum who was sweetly wishing me good morning as I headed to the bathroom only to see black rings under my eyes in the mirror. What a bad day I was going to have. Or, on the other hand, I could choose to look on the positive side of things. I woke up at 7am, meaning I had extra time to finish my assignments. I banged my toe, but at least I still had one. My two budgies were screeching. Well, at least I had pets to keep me company. There was my least favourite food on the table. At least I had food to eat. Mum was sweetly wishing me good morning. At least I had a loving mum who cared about me. In life, do you tend to look on the positive side or the negative? I know that when I'm in a bad mood, I always tend to turn to the negative, feel sorry for myself side. We have so many things around us that others don't have. But we take them for granted and don't even stop to notice them. Today I want to encourage you with what it says in 1 Thessalonians 5.18. Be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you. Being thankful for even the little things makes yourself happier and it makes the people around you happier as well. I wish you all a great day. Chat more next month. Bye. Roseanne for that great Bible boost. Um, Even in the simple things, we should be thankful for all we have. We have so much more than others. You know, our family overseas has far less. But we'll talk about being thankful after this song, Esther. By Dan Bremness. And it is Wherever I Go. Oh, before we get into that song, though, girls, if you have time, go and look at the actual clip to this song because he traveled around sort of the world in like Seven days. It was an amazing clip, but he travels singing and he gets monuments. I don't know how to explain it, but go and check it out. It's actually really good and interesting. Okay, let's get into the song. In the heat of the battle and i fought through the dust and the shadows oh you never left my side never left my side no and i stood at the top of the world i swam through the depths of my soul no matter what i find no matter what i find oh I go 
pieces together you bring me strength in the desert oh you defend my soul you defend my soul no height no depth no grave nothing on earth could keep you away oh you're my only hope you're my only hope life in death this truth i know wherever i go month has been amazing we've been learning about being thankful or grateful um, we believe it's so important and not only uh, for us but also like it's not only important for us but it's important for God as well like God feels that's amazing when we are thankful mm. so just remember God was the first one that planted that being grateful being thankful is important mm. before the scientists and medical professionals um, realize that gratitude is so important yes and it is important for the following reasons so gratitude can improve emotions increases happiness and positive mood improves sleep quality reduces stress and burnout increases resilience yes I looked up online for some Bible verses on thankfulness and 151 of them Ooh, wow. came up <laughs> and that was not all of them. So I'm sure God was spot on when he wants us to be thankful. I love that. So girls, you know, we really hope that you get, um, you know, to practice some gratefulness. You know, one thing you can do is start with a gratitude journal and write in it words or things that you want to write on that little sticky note, books, whatever it is. But try um, this for at least 30 days uh, and look for look for a book to do. But make sure you start this really, really important ritual. Yes, and you'll enjoy it um, and you'll find that your life just feel a little bit fuller yeah. every morning, especially if you start with God. So that's all from us until next Monday, which is next month. Yes, Woo. see you next month, which is next week. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for another wonderful day. Thank you that um, you give us food, you give us shelter, you look after us in every second, and thank you that um, we have ways that we can learn more about you. I ask that today is a special day. We feel your protection and your care in your loving arms. In your name I ask. Amen. This has been Gigi Radio signing out.